In this video, we look at what albumin means and how to address the low albumin levels. Albumin is a protein produced by the liver and is essential for maintaining various bodily functions. It is a crucial blood protein that helps maintain fluid balance in the body. It acts as a carrier for hormones, vitamins, and medications, ensuring their effective transport. Additionally, albumin binds to bilirubin, preventing jaundice. It supports immune function by transporting antibodies and serves as a reservoir for nutrients, aiding energy production, and tissue repair. Monitoring albumin levels is important for assessing overall health and detecting potential health problems. Normal albumin levels in the blood typically range between 3.4 and 5.4 grams per deciliter. These levels may vary slightly depending on the specific laboratory and the reference range used. High albumin levels. High albumin levels, known as hyperalbuminemia, are less common than low levels. They can be caused by factors such as dehydration, excessive protein intake, severe burns, or certain medical conditions like chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, or multiple myeloma. High albumin levels are usually asymptomatic and often detected incidentally during routine blood tests. Low albumin levels, hypoalbuminemia, low albumin levels, or hypoalbuminemia, can be caused by various factors, including liver disease, liver disorders such as cirrhosis, hepatitis, or liver failure can lead to decreased albumin production, resulting in low levels. Kidney disease, certain kidney conditions, like nephrotic syndrome or chronic kidney disease, can cause increased loss of albumin through urine, leading to lower levels in the blood. Malnutrition. Inadequate intake of protein-rich foods or malabsorption issues can contribute to low albumin levels. Inflammatory conditions. Chronic inflammation, such as in autoimmune disorders, for example, rheumatoid arthritis or inflammatory bowel disease, can affect albumin synthesis and result in decreased levels. Other causes. Other factors that can lead to low albumin levels include gastrointestinal disorders, certain medications for example, steroids, severe burns, or extensive skin injuries. Symptoms of low albumin levels may include edema, swelling particularly in the legs, ankles, and abdomen, as well as fatigue, weakness, and changes in urine output. Treatment for low albumin levels involves addressing underlying causes. This may include managing liver or kidney disease, improving nutritional intake, and treating any inflammatory conditions. In severe cases, intravenous albumin infusions may be administered to restore adequate levels in the blood. It's important to note that albumin levels should be interpreted in conjunction with other blood tests and under the guidance of a healthcare professional. They will evaluate the individual's medical history, symptoms, and other relevant factors to provide an accurate diagnosis and recommend appropriate treatment.